What was I looking for? This fucking guy. I can't believe he tweeted this. Okay. I just want to I just want to be rock solid and crystal clear in this, okay? You put your tongue on your teeth or something? No, my tongue goes my ordinary tongue goes to the left like the front left. It's not placed correctly in my mouth when I make an S sound, but it sounds relatively normal. Um I, I used to say it like this when I was in school using the side of my tongue. So now I use like the front left of my tongue, but it's still not correct. This, this is around where the S is supposed to be placed. Like if I speak like this, hold on. Okay. If I, if I, these are where I say my S is right now. You can see my jaw move a little bit because my tongue is going to the side of my mouth. This is closer to the correct placement of where the S is supposed to go. But even though my lips aren't moving now, the S, obviously it sounds, it sounds like I have a very noticeable lisp when I speak like this. I don't know if I just, if I use, if I use, 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 <laughs> Jesus. If I use that S for a few weeks, maybe it'll sound better, but maybe I'll correct over time. I'm not sure, but I don't know. I'll probably, I'll do like a, after my, um, after I, I think next week is the last week of my Invisalign and then I switch to like the permanent trays or whatever, I might, um, I'll try to find like a speech pathologist and just correct it. You probably change your opponent's mind more often than you think because people often come around to arguments afterwards, even if they fight them really hard at the moment. Maybe, who knows? Um, do you have a TMJ problem? No, thank God, no. I used to grind, or I grind my teeth a lot, or I used to, I have my Invisalign in, so I don't know if that counts as grinding anymore, but I don't have any TMJ shit. Oof, the weirdest thing I've noticed on some girls with, that have TMJ issues is if you, if they're really sensitive to like neck or ear kissing or whatever, if you're kissing their neck or ear, you could hear their jaw clicking and popping while you're doing it. Oh! 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 Now say, step away from the fair maiden like that. Good one. Sorry for changing the topic a bit, but wasn't the two-state solution already implemented by the creation of the Emirate of Transjordan? It was actually a bigger chunk of Palestine mandate. Wow, good point. Unison should be kissing, not fighting. Okay. Um, okay. Let me just run through this super quick. Norm tweeted out, Moron Specialis. I have been challenged on one and only one point in the Lex Friedman debate. Here is the relevant excerpt from the official transcript. I filled in the legal term that I used and placed it in uppercase. I don't know if you use the phrase dola specialis, that the international part of genocide, mween. I don't know that term. Me. I think it's called dola specialis. It's the most important part of genocide, which is proving it is a highly special intent to commit genocide. Uh, it's possible that Israel could that's mens rea. Yes, I understand the state of mind, but for genocide, it's called dola specialis. It's a highly special intent. Did you read the case? Yeah. It is a highly special intent, inaudible. He says, mens rea, criminal intent from the Latin for guilty mind, denotes the legal principle at stake, while dola specialis, criminal intent to commit genocide, denotes one application of it. Here is an example of the usage from the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda. Okay, so he's we're, he's kind of correct here. I would say he's correct here, if I'm not being really picky. But the problem is, if I say the more precise term, why would you correct me with a less precise term? Like, if I say, I think the example I gave to like yesterday, if I say, I drive a Mustang, and somebody goes, you mean a Ford? What? Or more aptly, if I say tomorrow um, I'm going to a racetrack and they only allow certain types of cars on there. Um, for instance, I have to bring my Mustang. They won't, they'll only allow uh, Mustangs on the track. And somebody would say, you mean a Ford? No, they don't use, all, not all Fords. I mean, a Mustang is a Ford, but not all Fords would be allowed on the track. I'm very precisely talking about a Mustang for this track. On this particular day, they only want Mustangs on the track. It doesn't make sense to call it, to just say Ford. But the ultra ironic part of him linking this case 
And I don't know if he just didn't read it or if he actually, maybe he truly does have poor reading comprehension, okay? Now, whew, I need you to turn your brains on for a moment, okay? Because this is we're gonna we're gonna be on one right now, okay? We're gonna be diving into the pedantry of this, all right? It is important, I think. In considering whether a perpetrator had the requisite mens rea, regard must be had to his mode of participation in the given crime. Under the Bicicero indictment, I'm not gonna try to pronounce half these names. Um, Elizaphan was convicted of aiding and abetting genocide, while Gerard was convicted of committing genocide. The requisite mens rea for aiding and abetting genocide is the accomplice's knowledge of the genocidal intent of the principal perpetrators. So what this particular part of this case was considering was, here is the question, and it's so funny because it so perfectly illustrates my point, and it perfectly illustrates that Norm has no idea what he's talking about here. Um, here is what's happening right now. For genocide, to commit a ge to, to do a genocidal thing, you have to have the dolus specialis, and then I think it's actus reus or dolus actus or something. There's some other dumb, dumb Latin term. You have to do a thing, okay? Um, you need to have the dola specialis. This is the intent to commit genocide, the special intent. Dola specialis, the special intent. Anytime you read special intent in a genocide document, that's what they're referring to. Dola specialis is special intent. You have to have this and you have to have the action, okay, of, com of whatever you did that was part of like committing the genocide, right? What this case was trying to figure out though was another guy over here Okay, another guy over here, he helped this guy. He aided this guy, all right? But what the court was trying to figure out is if he's aiding and abetting in a genocide, does it count if he doesn't have dola specialis? Because typically we'd say you need the special intent to commit genocide. Having the mens rea of helping him, having the criminal mind of helping him commit a crime, isn't enough to get you to genocide. The mens rea of committing the crime, that's not enough. You need the special intent to commit genocide. And we don't know if aiding and abetting somebody, killing somebody who's committing genocide, also makes you as aiding and abetting a genocide. And what the court found was the court said that, well, if you know of his special intent, so if you know his dola specialis to commit genocide, and then you have the prerequisite mens rea to help him kill somebody, then we can be said that the transference occurs there that you have now aided and abetted in genocide and you can be held culpable. But the analysis here to get him to a, a genocide related charge means that he needs to be aware of his dola specialis. And if he does know about his genocidal intent, then we can say that he's aided and abetted in genocide as long as he meets the mens rea for having aided and abetted in that particular crime and he has the knowledge of his dola specialis. Okay, sorry. So I'm giving you a little bit of background on what they're trying to prove here. And then that's what this is about. From the evidence, the trial chamber found that the attackers in Bessicero had the dola specialis, the specific genocidal intent. Furthermore, in the view of the appeals chamber, it is clear that Elizabeth knew of this intent that's the guy who's convicted of aiding and abetting. Since he knew of the Dola Specialis, the trial chamber found that um, Elizabeth was present during several attacks on refugees in Bessicero, including situations where the armed attacker saying, exterminate them, kill them, blah, 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 while chasing and killing Tutsis. It is from this, as well as from Iris transporting the armed attackers and directing them towards fleeing Tutsi refugees, that the trial chamber found that Elizabeth uh, had the requisite intent to commit genocide. Um, so his mens rea here is coming from the dola specialis of the other group, is, is where it's coming from, from their genocidal intent, um, convicting him of aiding and abetting genocide. In the view of the appeals chamber, it is not necessary to consider whether the trial chamber correctly concluded that Elizapan had the uh, dola specialis, the specific intent to commit genocide. We don't need that for him because given that it convicted him of uh, not of committing that crime, but rather of aiding and abetting the genocide, a mode of criminal participation which does not require the dola specialis. The appeals chamber finds that Elizabeth knew of the genocidal intent. He knew the dola specialis, okay, on that picture I drew. He knew about the other guy's dola specialis of the attackers whom he aided and abetted in the perpetration of genocide in Bicicero, um, and therefore that he possessed the requisite mens rea for that crime. <laughs> So that's what this means here, okay? I'm, I'm, it's not, 
I'm trying to say it's not that complicated. I don't think it's that complicated, but maybe it's because I've like read about all this shit now, an autistic amount, not even autistic amount. Did these distinguished judges err by referring to mens rea and not dola specialis? Him typing this out here means that he had absolutely no understanding of what he just read here. He has no idea because this whole part, and if you actually click through and you actually read through some of the document, now I'll be honest, I didn't have time to read all 91 fucking pages of this, but I was skimming it. I was reading a few paragraphs because I was curious. Okay, well, maybe they do. Do they use the terms interchangeably in here? They don't. Dola specialis is the special intent required for genocide. It is a special form of mens rea that is elevated from an ordinary state of mind to commit a criminal act. And they say as much when they talk about this, in its judgment, the trial chamber followed the approach adopted by the uh, Akayusu trial, uh, trial chamber that the dola specialis required for genocide was required for each mode of participation under Article 6, subsection 1 of the statute, including aiding and abetting. So here, a prior trial chamber had ruled that, oh, well, you need dola specialis to aid and abet in genocide. But what this court found was surprisingly, when considering the mens rea requirement for complicity under Article 23E of the statute, the trial chamber in Akayasu considered that it implies in general that at the moment he acted, the accomplice knew of the assistance he was providing in the commission of the principal offense. In other words, the accomplice must have acted knowingly. Knowingly in the context of genocide means knowledge of the principal offenders, dola specialis. The trial chamber in Akayasu summarized its position as following. In conclusion, the chamber is of the opinion that an accused is liable as an accomplice to genocide if he knowingly aided or abetted or instigated, this is the mens rea, you knowingly aid or abetted, abet or instigated um, one or more persons in the commission of genocide while knowing that such a person or persons were committing genocide, meaning having, having the dola specialis, even though the accused himself did not have the dola specialis uh, to destroy in whole or in part a national, ethnical, racial, or religious group as such. Do we understand? Do you understand this? Am I making sense here? So what it's saying is, let's say I've got a friend and he says, I want to kill all Indians. And I go, well, I mean, I don't know if I want to kill any. I don't think I want to kill all Indians, but he wants to like buy weapons from me. And I'm like, okay, I know you're, I know you want to kill all Indians. Okay. And I'm going to sell you weapons knowing that. Okay. I'm going to sell you weapons knowing you're going to go kill Indians. I have the mens rea there, but I don't have the dola specialis. I'm not committing genocide. I just have the mens rea of doing an illegal action, which is selling him weapons, knowing he's going to intend to use them harmfully. But if I know that he has that special genocidal intent, if he has the dola specialis and I know that, then my mens rea is enough to convict me of a genocide related crime because I know about his genocidal intent and I'm still choosing the mens rea aspect, the criminal intent. I'm still choosing to engage with him in a criminal way. That's what this court was talking about in the section that Norm highlighted here. Um, huh. I was stating the obvious that the critical point of contention in a genocide case is proving criminal intent. No, it is not. That is not the critical point of contention. The critical point is the dola specialis. That is the critical aspect. It is one of two vital elements. It is one of two vital necessary uh, elements in order to be convicted. You need the dola specialis and you need an, an, another action because saying mens rea isn't specific enough because, um, because we could say uh, let's say that I go to some group of people, where is it? Let's say that I go to a bunch of Palestinians or a bunch of black people, whatever, and I just start killing them, and I boom, 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 and I kill them. I'm like, oh, what'd you do? I was like, ah, I wanted to kill these guys today, boom. I would have mens rea, the mens rea thing of killing a person would be there, and then the act would be there. Is that genocide? No, why isn't it genocide? We got the mens rea and the act itself. Ah, because you didn't have the special genocidal intent. The special genocidal intent. But yes, okay. I was pointing out the obvious that the critical p point of contention in a genocide case is proving criminal intent. And of course, everyone in the room understood that the threshold under the genocide convention in is proving cr criminal intent to commit genocide. This is not true as well, which is why we just saw up here that a person could be convicted of a genocidal crime without having that special intent to commit genocide if he was aware that a person he was aiding and abetting did have that dola specialis to commit genocide. Do we, does this make sense now? Speaking of fantastic words, I wonder how Mr. Vermicelli was doing. But anyway, um, I felt like I had like 70% conviction on this point walking into that debate, but I decided to fight on it anyway. And now after reading this, now I have like 98% conviction on this point because this court case that he links completely and perfectly illustrates the point that I was trying to make. <laughs> um, yeah. I really think you're wrong here. 
the mens rea or the mental state has to be dolus specialis or special intent. The mens rea can or cannot be dolus specialis to commit genocide. The mens rea. I don't, your sentence doesn't make any sense. Um, then how do you explain people like this tiny? It's the community note, not a good explanation. Oh, it went back. Um, let's see. The community note says mens rea is a general term denoting any criminal intent, not the specific intent required to commit genocide. That is true. The ICJ case presented by South Africa does not contain the word mens rea and contains the term dolus specialis four times. That's also true. Yeah, of course. Because why would you say, you wouldn't say mens rea when you're talking about genocide. You just It doesn't make any sense to use it here. It just doesn't make any sense. Am I missing something here? I'm pretty sure this document confirms what Finkelstein was saying about these two terms. Maybe I'm wrong. Fink said the mens rea refers to intent to commit a crime, in this case genocide, whereas dolus specialis refers to the concrete application of that genocidal intent or the actual committing of the crime. No, okay. I don't know if people are being bad faith here. I see some people saying this in chat or, 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 or can't follow the logic chain or what's being said. If I would have said the dolus specialis to commit genocide. If Finkelstein would have said, um, oh, you're talking about like the mens rea needed to, to, the mens rea needed for a genocide conviction, I still might have pushed back a little. It was like, okay, sure, but we call it, it's a specific intent. It's not just a mens rea. But that would be kind of correct. Norman Finkelstein did not say mens rea to broaden or whatever. He was correcting me. He was correcting me, implying that my terminology was wrong. Again, that would be like saying, I have a Ford Focus RS, and someone saying, that's a Ford. Based on my understanding of this document, the court is saying that someone can aid in the application of genocide dolus specialis, despite themselves not holding genocidal intent, mens rea. No, he, no. Genocidal intent is, dolus specialis, I'm pretty sure it just means special intent in English. Wow, who uses Latin? It's actually so cringe. Special deceit? Special trick? What a special intent. <laughs> okay. I don't know why it translates that. Listen, ask the law people, okay? Dolus uh, specialis, despite the, not themselves holding genocidal intent, mens rea, so long as they're aware that the mens rea exists. Wait, I don't, now I'm curious. What does mens rea actually translate this to? If his initial statement during the debate was just a clarification that he knew that dolus specialis was kind of mens rea, then it would have been fine, right? Well, no, because mens rea is not a clarifying term. What's the opposite of clarifying? It's a obfuscating term. Again, it'd be like saying like, oh, um, like, oh, I left my iPhone at the at my house. And somebody's like, you mean you left your cell phone? What? what? Mens rea means real mind. Kind of like how Destiny aids the application of the Israeli genocide by lying about it despite not having any desire to genocide the Palestinians himself that we know of. Oh, you know what? Even though he kind of fucks the terms up here and misunderstands, yeah, this example kind of works. <laughs> You had it translating from Swedish? Wait, oh wait, did I? No, I didn't. That's click to translate from Swedish. Wait. 
Oh, wait, what? Wait, why did did it just change? Am I? Am, wait, what the fuck just happened? Am I getting trolled right now? Wait, what the fuck just did it just? Oh wait, you guys can't even see it because my camera's. I don't know if I. I don't like my camera. Wait, why here. did August said my camera is better up here? Do you think it is? He says it's better up here because if I watch other streamers react to me or whatever, it. We don't block there. Fuck August. We're coming back down here, boys. Give me some claps. We're back. We're, we're so back. Would Sabra, um, Sabra, Shatila be a good example of that distinction? The Lebanese army had Dolus. Israel could be argued had mens rea. Maybe, possibly. Possibly. That's the lie. What? Well, if you Nick Fuentes reacts to his cameo appearance in the Mind of Destiny Turkey Tome documentary. You should just read the UN explanation every time it comes up. Oh, I almost actually responded with this yesterday, but then uh, the studio setup stuff got way more complicated. If the DW offer you an eight-figure contract in replacement of Kansas Jones, eight figures? Yeah. For $10 million? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> For $10 million, boys? Trump 2024. Give me the MAGA hat. A mental element. The Oh. The intent is the most difficult element to determine. To constitute genocide, there must be a proven intent on the part of perpetrators to physically destroy a national, ethnical, racial, or religious group. Cultural destruction does not suffice. suffice. Why do I keep suffice? Suffice to say. Suffice. 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 Does not suffice. Nor does an intention to simply disperse a group. It is the special intent or dolus specialis that makes the crime of genocide so unique. In addition, case law is associated intent with the existence of a state or organizational plan or policy. Even to the definition of genocide, international law does not include this element. 